So here we are looking at the highlights from round two of the Simzone GT3 Championship. As you see, the practice times were looking quite good. We were P4 there in practice. But in quality, as you see, qualifying did not go well. I was P11. Luciano, my teammate, was P10. Both could not get a lap together, unfortunately. Um, David wasn't racing this round, but my teammate there on the left in the Audi Luciano, uh, the number 60, was racing. So let's see how we get on at the start of the race. Basically said to Luciano that I am going to push as hard as I can and just try and make up as many positions Bad as I start can. By me. But I don't get a good start here. Into the first corner, I'm going to look for the inside, back out of going alongside with the BMW. But now I'm alongside my teammate, going up the hill, which I don't really want to do, especially on the low pressure tyres, because it's the first lap. But we go side by side, up through the hill, I get a bit of a toe from the Honda, and I get past my teammate there. Crash, watch out, watch out, crash. Big crash up in front of us. Let's go, see. let's go. And we go from let's go, P5. P5. Back in. We're 11 to, now coming down to P5. The Fantastic, Fantastic start there. there. So let's so see hard. the replay uh, of what happened. Me to this early on. Uh, but here we go. Up towards the bus stop. Lanky's going defensive. And uh, that is not that. Tamis, oh, bit of a collision there. Uh, this shouldn't have really made it three wide. Massive was, crash. As you see, the leader's going three and even off, wide and uh, then all the coming track. together, oh, which caused that massive there. crash there. But it was fantastic for us. Let's go, mate. I got up to P5. Did you survive? Great, Luciano survived as well. So, as I said there, my teammate surviving as well. So, my teammate up to P8 and me up to P5. My teammate P8. Recovered after our bad quality. Let's push. right up in front of us coming into the left hander and he completely loses the grip of the car and we get a free position oh, very nearly no, go to the no. left and get taken out Honda with him in front but of me. go for the outside and they're able to get around it and as you see my teammate there just no, behind I just us avoided him, but I lost time. also gaining a free position and surviving that excellent Luciano is just behind that BMW right behind in the Bentley look at the battles we've got in the background Gosford holding on to P4 but we've got King McGee he's got a train of cars behind him here with Vuk there uh, in the Audi just behind tried to go for a move but he's having to defend from the gaggle of cars behind him here fun oh we've got as you see my teammate Luciano gets up to P6 I'm in P4 and we just got that BMW in between us As you see, this BMW is right behind me, trying to put the pressure on, but I've got Luciano right behind me, and what I'm trying to do is I know that that BMW is a little bit quicker than me, so I'm just trying to defend the position as much as I can, and hopefully allow Luciano to catch up to me a bit as well, because he's right behind uh, the BMW there. As you see the BMW getting really close behind me through the chicane. And as you see Milo saying there, there was tons of crashes crashes behind us. Um, you can go check out the official oh, stream Oh man, yeah, the, the field's completely below, split up, hasn't it? Like I haven't been looking at the mini-map, but it's no longer a train of cars, is it? Side by side, up towards the bus stop. And I think the Audi driver is going to have that position done and dusted. Uh, McGee tried to fight back hard here. And he there we go, Luciano to gets up, up into B5. Uh, so now it's Balas, B4, B5. Stream is doing well. Thanks everyone for tuning in. And then a few minutes later, I can't remember exactly what happened, but I think Luciano lost position to the chicane again. 
So now we've got the BMW on the outside of me and I'm just trying to defend as much as I can. And now I'm on the outside line coming into this left hander which is not where I want to be. And on the outside I completely lose all the grip of the car and accidentally come in front of my teammate there and end up blocking Luciano which I didn't Sorry. need to do. But I was just trying not to spin there like the Honda on the first lap. Because you just lose all the grip there if you go on the wide line. Good move by the BMW. Now coming into the first corner, I'm going to get a good run on the BMW here. Back, I get a good line, but I go a bit wide and for some oh, reason don't get a track limit warning. But I just no use it to gained. my advantage. Get a good time, exit, okay. and then up the back straight up the straight here we're going to get a good slipstream off the BMW here and I want to go for the inside because I know that I'll probably get the move done if I get on that inside line but the BMW blocks that so I go for the outside thinking I'll have enough momentum but coming into the skin I have to yield the position and oh, on really the outside mate. line there I lose all the momentum so I tell my teammate just to go through, go through, go through. and just take the position because I don't want to hold up my teammate when I make that mistake. So, uh, I lost all the time there. So that drops me down from P4 to P6. But now the pit window is open. We're going to see. Um, we've got 10 minutes until we pit, and then Luciano up in front spins out, unfortunately, no! through the chicane. No way! Oh, that's annoying, man. But we've only got about 10. Now we've got 5 minutes until the pit stop window, so I was having a look and doing my tyre pressures there. Now coming into the first corner, I don't get the best of exits, Luciano lets me know that he's going to come through. Uh, and yeah, I pass. just let him through going up the hill here because he's got a bit more pace and I want him to try and catch the guys up in front. As you see, going side by side up through the hill, get a bit of understeer which is, was a bit sketchy as my tyres were starting to drop off. But Go now we've swapped position, so Luciano's up into P4. And I'm down into P5. That's Cosford and Brownhill very close to each other. Cosford is close to Whitfoot. Uh, Whitfoot there in P4. Both these drivers from uh, Ballas Esports. So they may not want to be holding up uh, each other. As we come down the straights, could there be team orders between these two? I know there aren't any teams, <clears throat> pardon me, in this championship. Oh, is Fitzroot going to want to hold on here to P4? Crossford definitely has to uh, worry about Brownhill behind him. That uh, that last lap Brownhill was a uh, almost a second quicker. And oh, a bit of a mistake there for Vitroot. Uh Cosford had to look up the inside, couldn't get the move done. And uh, we've seen a few drivers making mistakes there into that corner. It seems to be quite difficult uh, with a few drivers washing wide ever so slightly. And get, as soon as you get onto those marbles, uh, you do lose quite a bit of grip. And Brownhill there just trying to show himself in the rear view mirrors uh, of Cosford. Keeping that pressure on to both of these uh, Ballas Esports drivers. Uh, fortunately, we've got uh, Alleman retiring from the race. So, as you see, we were able to stay ahead of that BMW. Now, the BMW pitted one lap before us. Which was good because this is going to allow me and Luciano to get the overcut. As you see, I make up a bit of Luciano, a bit of time from Luciano into the pit entry there. Um, but coming into the pit box, I didn't realise, but Luciano's pit, pit box here, was directly in front of mine. So we we're both running the same setup, we're both on the same strategy, um, and because we're trying to work together, we both came in on the same lap. But I didn't realise that then I couldn't see my pit box there. So I lose a little bit of time, but thankfully I still stop on the Man, jacks, I, so I don't lose jacks. too much time. Your pit stop was right in front um, of mine, so I couldn't see where I was yeah, to stop. But yes, that was uh, a bit of a close call to missing the pit stop box. there. Oh, I... Now on the pit lane exit, 
as you see, Luciano made up a bit of time on us after uh, we braked a bit too early for our pit box. But you'll notice that that BMW that was behind us is nowhere to be seen. And that was because he got a stop and go time penalty. So that meant that we now had a 7.5 second gap to the car behind us. This lap of the race on these tyres, they feel amazing. Watch out, car in the middle of the track on the right hand side, I think. Watch out. Oh, it's on the left. Oh, it's the Bentley. It's a position. Let's go, guys. Excellent. Two positions P4 and P5. Let's go. So that guy uh, was in the pit lane that I didn't realise. I thought there was no one else in front of us left to pit, but there was someone. So that put us up a position, and then that Bentley in front of us who was P3 or P2, completely binned it there, so that puts... Let's have a look at the official stream and Coursera see what happened there. there. You can see how much he's gaining, and then drops it onto the kerb, loses the rear end of the car, luckily, Sidor didn't Very get Very close out, to taking out the Porsche as well, P4 but as you P5. see that gave us a free position. Excellent. I did not want him to pass me. And now, there was hardly anything that happened hill. between the um, that so Bentley spinning power. out and the final lap so of the race. Speed on the outside. But final lap of the race, we've got this Honda right beside us. So let's see what we can do to defend. He's gonna get such a good run on me. He's just gonna get the tool, the slipstream. I'm gonna have to defend the inside line. It's the only slight chance we have of keeping this position. As you see, holding that inside, that inside line, trying to stay to ahead. Able to keep That's the it, position, stay behind. so that was the highest risk we had. Now we just need to try and hold no on for business. the next two sectors. Come on. That's it. Coming into final sector now. I've had to defend like crazy for this P5 here on the final lap. Come on, come on, come on. Final corner. I don't know, he sent it into the final corner there. Oh my goodness, I thought he was going to hit the wall. He sent it. Oh, let's go, mate. As you see, my teammate Luciano but, uh, nearly caught up to P3, up only so 1.8 seconds there. behind Forced that Porsche. He's going to finish in P4 Cosford. Is uh, just about going to hold on here to P5 uh, with Irfan finishing in P6. So a great result there, Luciano taking P4, me taking P5 after starting 10th and 11th. A great result there. Uh, very good job by Luciano to nearly catch up to P3. Um, I think he started about 10 seconds behind the Porsche and he closed the gap to only 1.8. Um, so a great job by him and a good race for the both of us making up a good amount of points for the championship. So as always guys, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and see you again next time.